What are the multinational organizations that Mohammad Radwan build DevOps solutions for them? Mohammed helped more than 60 enterprise organizations around the globe to implement DevOps practices at large scale. The following are just a few examples of them. For more information, you can review Mohammed's LinkedIn profile. The companies are KPMG, NG, Mesk, ADP, Willis Towers Watson, Delaru, Mears, Darko, FL Smith, SDC, Sridian, DFDS, GN Resound, Redcar and Cleveland, Capital Health, Valuation Office Agency, FCA, Iceland, Clifford Chance, Otacon. The following are just a few examples of the DevOps projects Mohammed did for them. DevOps assessment and envisioning, in this project Mohammed was a DevOps architect who assessed and improved the current state of maturity for the software development process and practices. During the project, the company's DevOps strategy is designed, the potential improvements are identified and described, the DevOps end-to-end -end capabilities are explained and demonstrated. Azure DevOps upgrade and cloud migration. In this project Mohammed was a lead cloud migration engineer who managing a team with hands-on for moving on-premises Azure DevOps to Azure DevOps on the cloud. The requirements and the current state of the company is identified, a migration strategy and plan are created, and the appropriate tools chosen. The process designed to minimize downtime and provide a reliable and robust newer version on the cloud. CI, CD design, build and architecture. In this project Mohammed was a principal DevOps with hands-on who leaded a team to build, design and implement a supported CI, CD infrastructure. The best practices for source control, continuous integration, automated testing, and release management are defined. The build and the deployment cover many different activity types, including, but not limited to, code quality checks, code metrics, sonar cube integration, security and vulnerability checks, and integration testing. Also, it includes provision and deploy environment as part of infrastructure as code using Terraform and ARM templates. Thanks for watching. Looking forward to seeing you all in the next course. For more information, contact Mohammad Radwan.